Okay, just uh, just in the camera. Just try to get as much of this puzzle as possible. Hmm. Seems like I can't get. Well, how was I able to do it yesterday? Hmm. Yeah. This has only got like half the puzzle. This is ridiculous. Oh, I need to prop the camera up, make it taller. make this taller see it well it did something I'm not sure what though why is the why is it like this is crazy I have the camera all the way over to one side, but it's the other side that's off camera. I can't, like, that doesn't even make sense. Oh, maybe it's twisted a little bit. Wow. It's, like, impossible to get this whole thing on the camera. I'm going to start putting this puzzle together in a minute, but you're only seeing half the puzzle. That's why I'm still fidgeting with the camera. You see the full width of it, but you only see half of the height of it, which is no good. Um, and let me get another book, make it taller still. And then if it gets the full like height, it's probably gonna end up too wide. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah. And then I've got it all the way to the left, but for some reason it's like showing all the stuff on the right. Like I have it all the way over to this end of the table, but instead it's showing you off the other end of the table. Like that's crazy. literally shifting the books out over the table in an attempt to fix this. Right. Uh, I guess you're just not going to see the bottom of the puzzle. I'll work on the top of it. This is ridiculous. And then there's stuff like... Uh, anyway... Forget about it. I don't want to make it like 
I'm complaining all episode. All right. We did find out some things. Uh, as you can see, the full, like, almost the full border is here. So what I figured out is uh, everyone else probably already knew this, but, like, these pieces say D on the back of them. So there's like a pattern. It's like A, B, C, D, E, F. So when you find a piece that's a corner piece and it's D, you know it goes there. A, you know it goes there. C, you know it goes here. And F, you know it goes here. And then there's other pieces like here. If you read on the back of those pieces, they're like B on one side and C on the other. And then these ones are like C on the top and F on the bottom. So actually based on the size of this square, you can know that this is probably going to move up. And actually when it moves up, you probably will see the whole puzzle. Um, but you can't see it all right now. Um, what else? Um, definitely I wishing I had done the same setup as yesterday. Because yesterday I had those like walls around it. So now you're like seeing past the board. Anyway, um, when it moves up, hopefully it all fits on camera. There's certain pieces, like this piece here, it has like four, it has like, you know, if you look at these like letters on the back, see how this one says B and E? So you know that is like on this line, because like B is here and E is here. But this piece, it has B, E, no, B, C, E, and F. It has like four letters on the back, so you know it goes right there. So there's another piece like that here. It's like, I don't know which piece it is, but it's like A, B, D, and E. So there's the four corner pieces, and then there's those two like pivot pieces, and then there's the side walls. But at some point, we just have to like study this map and figure it out. So I didn't have a chance to set up. I was busy doing other things. I should have. In the future, I'm going to set up the stage like an hour in advance so it's just like ready to go but anyway here's the map and if I'd set up the walls like I had yesterday then I would use these magnets to stick it to the walls that was the whole point of it anyway it'll be like that tomorrow I'll set it up an hour in advance and it'll be ready to go but for now I don't know I'm just gonna put this somewhere and use it as a reference I don't want to put it underneath because I think that takes the fun away from seeing it built um, maybe I'll even fold it and just work on it like a piece at a time. So like, if I want to work on this corner right here, I can sort of you put this like right here. So like, this is the C's. Uh, so I, I separate it into boxes. So I can just like grab the C's and start working on that corner because as you see, it's all boxed in. This line's all filled out. This line's all filled out. This line's all filled out. And there's probably two or three pieces missing up at the top there. So I'm going to go grab the C box and get to work. Actually, it's going to turn out to be good for a second that you can see off the edge of the board. Because I'm going to show you that's where these drawers are kept. So the C drawer is kept right here. So I'll sort of push it, the pieces in a little bit. As you can see, it says like a C on the, on the bottom of it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push the pieces a little bit towards this end. And then I could stick this drawing. So like I was doing all that complaining about it not fitting. Really, it does fit. Because now I can put the drawers on the edge. And they fill up the camera. So I guess I should go get the other drawers. So this upper right corner is the A's, and these pieces are the A's. So I'll put this on, on this side as well, on the other side. So these drawers, this like felt table, it comes with these drawers. It's specifically for putting jigsaw puzzles away. I don't want to even discuss how much this thing costs. I'll just say that <laughs> the same people who gave me the review copy gave me this thing, you know, Let's see how this goes. I, I almost feel like, I don't think I'm like a great reviewer. I almost feel like what I'm really good at 
is <laughs> noticing other people's scams. And I think people are, I think someone decided, you know what, give this guy a bunch of puzzles to review. He'll be really busy every night and he won't be able to figure out all our scams. Not that I was like starting any lawsuits or any way, but I was just like saying comments that lead to other people like, oh yeah, that's a scam. I'm not going to do that. So I don't know. That's kind of my theory on as to why, or maybe it's just, you know, maybe I, maybe I write good essays. I don't know what the reason is, but anyway. I I got this puzzle board for free. Not for free, for review. Like, I have to pay taxes on it. Alright. Here's the D board. It goes here. And then, I'm going to put... The other board has the bees, which doesn't make sense, but that, you know, because B is here, but I'm going to put it here anyway, because I like that it fills up the frame. So here's the bees, the little buzzy bees. I'm also, I have to work standing up, which is good. You know, it's like an hour of standing. It's probably good for my health. Um, when I was doing those little, like, wooden puzzles, you know, you only need, like, this much space to do a wooden puzzle. At least the build, and then you could keep the sheets outside. But this, like, jigsaw, I mean, it's humongous. You need, like, what is this, like, two feet by... I don't know. It's like two and a half feet by one and a half feet or something like that. And you need that just to build the puzzle. Then you need somewhere to keep the puzzle pieces. You need somewhere to keep the map. It's ridiculous. Who invented this hobby? <laughs> Alright, that's not what I was talking about. It's, in fact, that's totally against what I plan to talk about. So what I plan to talk about is the motto for this stream. Um, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget it. Though maybe it's going to still evolve. Let me see. What did I write down? Oh, time to sleep. Time to sleep. That's that's what it is. You know, bedtime. Time to sleep. So you turn on this podcast. I put together a puzzle. Uh, you go to sleep. You know, that's the idea. It's like going to be very boring. I'm not going to say anything that's going to keep you awake. Time to sleep. You turn it on, you fall asleep. That's the idea. Uh, I'm trying to find these like two missing top pieces, but maybe I should just find like anything that works. All right. So this, the way this folds is like a quad fold, but the way the board is like the, the folding is, um, is two by four, but the board, the lettering is two by three. So I can't start in the middle. I have to start on the left. Well, I could start in the middle if I fold it a different way, but it'll be tough to identify where the middle is. So I kind of have to start on this left side. All right, so let's, I don't know. I don't know what to, how to figure this out. Uh, jigsaw puzzle, solve it. Okay, let me turn on some light. Maybe that'll help. All right, yeah, that did help. Now I can see what I'm doing at least. All right. Hmm. One thing that you can learn, uh, these pieces, like, the C's, you can see the orientation of the C. So you know this piece goes this way. Let me see if I can find one that goes the other way. So like this one goes this way. Basically, you got to get the C's all lined up. Um, in fact, this is a very light piece. I feel like it probably goes somewhere down here. Uh, does anything here look like... It connects to this. 
because that would be nice to get something done. Uh, I don't really see anything that looks like a connection. The trifold should be, yeah, one. All right, so this is three, this is four, but they're both two in height. So I can look and see like this leaf matches this leaf. This leaf matches this leaf. But the lightest part is here. So this guy probably goes up here somewhere. Actually, there's a little reflection on this. I would rather it be matte. Um, it's a little reflective. There's also some straight top pieces that apparently I haven't found yet. At least two of them. So let me just check this drawer for those two pieces. Why have I not found those yet? You know, it could be that I put them in the wrong drawer, and in which case they're not even here. You know, because I tr I was separating these by the letters on the back, but I doubt I did a perfect job. So, the piece I'm looking for may not even be here. Well, if it is here, I don't see it. Alright, let's look for dark pieces. This piece is fairly dark. Alright, the C's, so it goes this way. Uh, so it probably part of that. So it probably goes around here somewhere. Wait a second. Look at this. There's red on this wall, but like, it has to be this dot, but like I can fit my whole finger there, I can't fit my whole finger here. So something's off about that. Anyway, this piece probably goes, I don't know, like here-ish. Let's see. <clears throat> There's some orange pieces. See here? Orange. Alright. Let's see if we can find orange. This piece has some orange. What does this look like? It's tough when they're just like one piece need like a couple pieces to make sense of this. Oh yeah, it goes like that. Yeah, it looks like that goes right here. I mean, that's where it goes on this thing. Maybe I could build a couple pieces and then transfer it over here. Um, that's an interesting idea. Way to use the map. So this is a very light piece. This probably goes right here. Yeah. Yeah, we got something going on here, but we're going to have to transfer it, but at least, uh, well, look, we finally got something useful. This is probably one of those top pieces we're missing. Yep, it absolutely is. So it either goes here or here. Oh, that's not, that doesn't look right. Or does it? Maybe it goes both places. That's, that looks right. Uh, does this also look right? It does. It seems right. Uh, Alright, so we got something done there. So now we need either one or two pieces up there. But I don't want to get focused on that because we basically found that piece by not thinking about it. So let's stick with that <laughs> philosophy. Uh, you know, we'll just, it'll show up when it shows up. Basically, just like looking here. Like that looks about right. That looks about right. That looks about right. So we have like three pieces. They're not connected, but they're pretty close together. We might be building something here. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Again, very light. And it looks like that line, right? But it has this red. Maybe it's this line? No, that's not right. Because there's two different reds. 
Yeah, oh, it's over here somewhere, I think. Yeah. C's going this way. Uh, probably something really obvious. Is this orange or red? That's it. Right? That's it. It's, so, it's something like that. I don't know, maybe it's not perfect, but it's something like that. I still think these dark pieces are likely to pay off because we kind of know where the dark spots, spots are. Down here. Here's a dark spot. How dark? That doesn't look right. Not sure. That I, I might have been off track with that. I feel like I'm kind of doing yoga to like reach out over this jigsaw puzzle. Maybe that's a good thing. It's a really light piece. not getting anywhere. But I gotta talk about something, right? So that it's not like dead air. Let's look for some more orange pieces. That, that's how we got rolling before. Because that's one of the few unique things in this section. There's only two of those orange like spots. So here's another piece of orange. Um, kind of wish it would connect here. I think it does actually. I think that is going to connect. Yeah, there you go. Bam. That connected. So orange. Let's keep going with that concept. Let's find some more orange. Orange piece, good. Uh, let's see here. No. Uh, it's not orange enough. All right. Well, it only works if I could find orange pieces. And right now I can't. Is that orange or red? Why do I feel like the lighting is so bad today? Um, because I'm at a different angle than usual. Uh, let me just turn on one more light. Maybe that'll help. I think it helped slightly. Each light I turn on. Why is the camera not lit? Does it not do that? Does it detect the light and not turn on if there's enough light? Um, yeah, now I, now the lights are on and I realize that piece is not even orange. Uh, it's just one of these pieces, but like well lit, which should be able to identify that actually, though I don't, I don't see it. Wow. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it looks so obvious here. Look at that big piece of orange. Why can't I find that piece? It's gotta be here somewhere, right? All right, I got some orange. Uh, what is that? Where did that go? 
goes kind of like this, right? Yeah, that's it. Um, we need more orange. Again, it's like a light piece. There are no light pieces like this. What are they feeding me? Okay. Is it this? Not sure. That doesn't look right. Wow, I'm just like. Need that orange piece. You know, I think it doesn't help that this box happens to be orange. <laughs> you see the felt is like a different color, blue, green, yellow, orange. And I'm looking for an orange piece in a box that happens to be orange, which I think is making it more difficult. It's like not going to jump out because the felt is orange. here see some white mm. there's not more white does it connect to that you know what's the problem with the C you can't really tell I yeah okay it's like this tough to tell which way is up with the C all right this is up Nope, nothing here. I mean, it might be something, but nope. We'll be lucky if we get this one section done today. piece goes there's another interesting color it's uh it's not orange it's i don't know maybe purplish all right where's this one go All we got together was these two pieces. <laughs> In 28 minutes, we put two pieces together. That's so bad. Like I would just start randomly trying to fit pieces together. Maybe that'll work quicker. Like this piece here. Why can't I find that piece? That should be easy.
point like at the end of a puzzle when a puzzle when there's only so many pieces and it's like suddenly everything there's only so many pieces and it's like suddenly everything you can spot them as soon as you pick them up but we're not at that point yet we're far from that point found some more orange what can I do with that that's not it This is crazy. I'm moving these back <laughs> onto the felt. Um, because I'm not getting anywhere. There are, these are far over. pick these pieces out. I don't know where they go, but not here. Gotta build from those orange pieces. And that's the only way we're gonna get anywhere. Alright. So this orange piece Kind of in the middle, I would say. And then this orange piece is kind of above that one. And this orange piece is a mystery to me. Based on the direction of the seas, see the sea? It's supposed to go this way. But where? Maybe like down here somewhere? No, that's not a match. I don't know. I, until I have a better answer, kind of like goes there because at least this orange has this little bit of white here and so does this one, but it's not quite connected in the right way. Um, here, I feel like I want to do it this way, but that's not the way the C is going, so I can't do that. Um, yeah, I don't get it. Is there more orange than I'm not seeing? There's a little orange there. Huh, I don't know. Oh, this piece, yeah. This is something. This is close to being something. Uh, let's see if it even fits here. No, that's not quite it. But it's, um, it's very close to the wall here or is it trying to find where this thing goes. So far, I haven't found it.
I'll just reduce to just moving this piece along until something looks right and none of it does amazingly none of it looks right I don't know what to do with a piece when I just put it back in the box I feel like I'm gonna grab it again if I put it back in the box looking check in the chat box see if anyone's giving me any answers <laughs> I don't see any answers um, don't look like that kind of does ooh that kind of does right I think that's a hit and is that close enough to the wall It's close to this, right? Like kind of down from that. Hmm. Somehow it's like doesn't work. I come over here. I look at this. I guess I'm just. I guess it's not a hit. Seemed like it was, but it's not. Go all white down here. Another look alike. It's not it. Man, just fail after fail, huh? Well, I did build these two pieces. Can we build on that? Getting the C orientation correct. All right. Hmm. We still didn't even complete the top. But then again, the piece might not be here. Oh, there. There's a piece. Is that the... Well, it looks like we're missing two pieces because that one is probably going to fit one of them, but not the other one. All right, it's probably one more piece. Oh, is it? It's not over here by mistake, is it? Oh, that's a B. All right. See if we can find that last piece. It would at least be something. <laughs> something better than nothing. Right. That's not orange, is it? This is a weird piece because the C's go up. So this is the orientation of the piece. But the shadow is above the leaf, which is weird. Shadows are consistently below. So now I'm just scanning this board to see where is there a shadow above, which is probably coming from something else. 
Here is a shadow above, but it doesn't look like this piece. There could be ones off to the right here that we don't see. But let's check here for other shadows above. Hmm, not seeing it. Wow. love to get at least one section done look at this huge piece all right I gotta be able to find this piece I mean look at this it's a huge leaf with a huge hot spot we must be able to find this piece well, that's not the correct orientation actually it's like this this is the orientation so the hot spot is on the bottom Is it this piece? No, because there's no red over here. And there's no white over here. So we have this huge, very distinct looking piece. And I don't see its match. And the only way that could be is if it's on this underside, which we haven't gotten to yet. Or is it a combination of two leaves? Is that, that's not it. All right, I have to fold this sheet over to see if it's on the other side because if not, then I'm really bad at jigsaw puzzles because I don't see anything here that matches this. Like, look at that huge white spot, hot spot. There's a huge hot spot, but it's not it. So it's got to be on this edge here or on the other side of this edge because if not... You know, what's the orientation again? Hot spot on the bottom. Where? Hot spot on the bottom. Well, how about that? I still can't find it. Even flipping this over. Yep. Yeah. It's it's uh, been confirmed. I'm bad at jigsaw puzzles. Uh, Maybe it's right on the fold? No, I don't think so. Well, this is about as distinct a piece as you can get. <laughs> and I couldn't find it. So. And I think I've been pushing pieces around in the process. But maybe I have been. Yeah, it looks like I've really messed up these pieces up here. But let's just focus on the C group for now. I mean, that's all we can do tonight. All right, maybe we can identify it. Maybe we'll just get lucky. Nope, that's not happening. Really? I thought we would have found this piece by now. Look at this guy. He's got real skinny. Like appendages. This is the orientation of the piece. And I just dropped a piece. Look at this piece up here. That's a huge, that's a huge piece. I feel like I should be able to recognize that. So it's a huge dark piece with red in the middle. I feel like I should be able to just spot that piece because that's very long.
that's interesting. But no. Am I orientating these pieces wrong? These go this way, right? for I don't even know <laughs> red gray dark gray and white wow I wonder if I keep doing cross these uh, jigsaw puzzles, if I'll eventually get better at them. Because right now, I mean, I mean, what have we put in three pieces? And it's been how many minutes? Forty-eight minutes. Three pieces in forty-eight minutes. That's like, what am I doing here? I got to come up with some sort of method. All right, look at this. Remember, we said we were looking for that long piece. Um, orientation that was not correct. It's orientated this way. Um, wow, interesting piece, but not fitting what we're looking for. Hmm. It's so long here. Like that's a unique piece. And when it ever comes up, it should be so recognizable, but I guess we're not there yet. This one backwards. Um, I'll tell you what, though. Did I? Wait, am I doing all these pieces wrong? The C. Oh, okay. The C's. Okay, they. I've been. I'm doing them all backwards. It's probably why I had no luck. Basically, it's. Um, it goes that way because it's made so that if you were doing it like upside down if you like flipped it upside down so it's basically like a mirror so like this piece goes this way so now all of them go opposite to the way I was checking them so this one goes this way I don't know if that's gonna help us at all but at least it's something different to try all right now we got a piece I mean we got a piece <laughs> we got something all right, maybe we'll, oh, look at that. Remember we were looking for that super long piece with red? All right, so we're now getting better because we were reading, or I was reading the orientation wrong. And now that I got it correct, suddenly pieces fit, are like fitting everywhere. 
So if I'd never looked, if I'd never thought I understood those letters, we probably would have, I probably would have got further. I thought I understood them. Turns out I didn't. But eventually we got there. Did we ever have that click at the top? No, I don't think we ever found that piece. But, you know, we got something going on here. I wonder if any of these are actually C's and I just left them on that side. It looks like they're all B's. So now this piece we couldn't recognize. Now let's look for a hot spot on top. Remember I was saying like how could the shadow be on the bottom? It wasn't. I had the piece upside down. <laughs> the shadow was exactly where it's supposed to be. Uh, Alright, so where's my very visible top hot spot? Well, I still don't see it. But it could be on that fold that we didn't check yet. Um, right. Whatever. I'm not going to worry about it too much. We did find this piece. I'm happy about that. And now there's some red piece that goes next to it. go up here it does there we go wow that uh i think we lost 45 minutes to that misunderstanding of of the orientation of the pieces well whatever we got there eventually and i don't think anyone was watching the stream so nobody's time was wasted Of a long piece. Well, at least now I know the orientation of the pieces. Feel better about that. There we go. That's like helping a lot knowing that. Still don't have that piece. I got a feeling it's in another drawer. Like, you know, when I was sorting the C's, I somehow dropped it in another drawer. But that's weird because it's an end piece, and I thought I grabbed all the end pieces. Like, no matter what drawer it was in, if it was an end piece, I would have grabbed it. No matter what letter. Alright, here's another major hotspot. Alright, and this one is on the bottom. Hmm. I don't see anything with a major hot spot on the bottom. I don't even think all these pieces fit in here. They're all, all of these pieces are going to fit in this little space. How? Look at that. That's a super long connector.
This looks like a piece I should be able to find. So what does it look like? Just gray and black. Or gray and dark gray. distinct looking piece. And where does that go? That's not correct, is it? No, it's not. Uh, Andor, the new Star Wars series. It's like three episodes came out today. I watched uh, part of one of them. It looked good. I thought it looked good. Andor on Disney Plus. Star Wars series. It's kind of like Rogue One, if you remember Rogue One. Builds off that. I'm not sure builds off that is the correct way to describe it, but it's from there. Um, yeah, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it's got some of the same characters as Rogue One. Uh, it's got some of the same issues as Rogue One. Jesus. Just looking for a random connection. Thought maybe I'd get lucky. upside down so that brings hope that maybe spinning it right will lead to figuring it out nope in fact I almost got it bro broken by attaching it to the wrong spot Remember we were talking about that major hotspot? Is that it? Can't really tell. Wait a minute. Is that orange? There's no major hotspot near an orange. This is crazy. tall piece there we go so these pieces here I have spun the wrong way maybe spinning them the right way it's going to lead to something that looked like it would fit physically but it was not the correct image so I didn't drop it in yeah I don't know where that one goes I 
another long tap. Ooh, that just happened to fit. I better double check that. Hmm, yeah, that looks good. Still haven't figured this piece out for this one. It's a lot of, uh, hmm. well, again, it does go a little onto this side. Maybe I should fold it out a little more. Might help. Messes up the rest of the board, but at least for this section, I can see what I'm doing. So, if you look at this, it's like red from the top to the bottom. And if you look at this line, it's there's some gray. So, where is the point where it's all red? I think it's right here. See that triangle? There's that triangle. So this is basically the line. I feel like I should put like a paper clip. Well, I'll remember that triangle. So this is really, this line is this line. And look at that major hot spot. All right. Well, I feel more confident with that thing opened up, but I'm still not getting anywhere. And, uh, and it's past 63 minutes. Um, since there's nobody here, I'm just going to end it. And it's going to be one of those nights where, you know, maybe I mark the video private because there's no value in this video. Uh, other than just the sound of someone walking around. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to stop the stream. Um, shame we didn't get any further. But we'll figure it out tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. Good night. If I can find the end button when I walk over there. Wow, I got this like thing so high I can't even see it. And good night.